Yo, what's up guys, Paco here from Virtue and in today's video guys, I've decided to just make one very, very raw video on just how our software works and how to use it and how to get aimlessness on your keyboard and mouse, so let's go. First things first, let me just open the software and drag it onto my second monitor. After you open the software, you're gonna see uh, Fortnite by Paco, this is my config, this is the only config I use because I only play Fortnite. For you, there will be no config, so what I would do is go into the server and go into the customer's config channels and there's so many configs for each game such as Apex, Warzone, Black Ops, Fortnite and just choose one. After you've chosen one, let's say my config for Fortnite, load it. After you've loaded it, you're gonna see all of those settings here. I've already explained them in my Discord server, so I'm not going to do it now. What you wanna do is the most important thing, just key for on and off, just make sure you know what that key is, let's say in my case it's 9. What that means is after you're in game, you're gonna wanna click that to turn the aim assist on. For macros, we have literally all macros you need. Zen emulator for Apex, which is TK aim assist for Apex Legends, TK aim assist for literally all games. Uh, anti recall we have parachute macro for the warzone players you guys know how playing with the remapper slows you down when gliding well this parachute macro fixes that we have yy macro for warzone we have auto ping macro also for warzone mainly used some people use it in fortnite as well though inventory macro the rewas players or the remapper players who have played with a remapper before you guys know that when you use a remapper it locks your mouse if i click 9 now as you can see i can move my mouse in game it will just give you controller buttons meaning you can't manage your inventory without actually disabling the aim assist first well what that macro does is you don't have to disable the aim assist all you need to do is just set a key let's say my mouse button and just hold that key that key will unlock your mouse meaning if i'm trying to loot or manage my inventory all i have to do is just hold that key it will unlock my mouse i'll do my shit and i'll just stop holding it and then i'm back on with the aim assist now for the keybinds, all the keybinds are automatically transferred, but I also have them translated in my server right here for all the people who don't actually know what the keybinds do. And how the uh, aim assist works exactly is uh, after you turn on the engine and after we type controller here, give me one second, we're going to see controller Xbox 364 Windows added, but if we turn on the engine, we're going to see that it disappears what that means is that after we turn the engine on it adds a it adds a virtual controller on our pc so what that means is after we go in the game all it's going to ask us is to switch to a controller and uh simply we're going to do it but we'll keep playing with mouse and keyboard we're 24 7 on our discord guys we really do value this community a lot so if you guys want to check it out uh well feel free to or if you just have some questions we'll again answer them and yeah that was from the video guys see you in the next one